Hey everybody, my name is Kevin. Welcome back for another video of Last Judgment. We're going to continue this series, boys. Now the the whole thing is we're in chapter five. I don't. I really don't know how many chapters there is to this game. I feel like we're at 18 parts to play. It's, it's sure, I've, there's some videos that uh, I spent the entirety of them uh, doing some side stuff, but still, it feels like this game is very long. It's a longer game than the usual ones, that's for sure. So the murder footage is already making the rounds online. I don't think it's showing up on TV, though. Yeah, the net's a mess right now. It's all unsubstantiated rumors and unverified sources. Typical, really. An ex-cop going from by-the-book sex offender to vigilante avenger overnight is prime forum drama. Sentiment seems to be swinging in favor of Ehara, but there's plenty of folks on the fence about it, too. The reactions have been all over the board. Do we know if that video is authentic? I mean, CG has come a long way, right? Pretty much. Oh, it could have been okay. a, a deep fake, boys. We never that know. Plausible. AI has reached the point where it can generate pretty convincing facsimiles. Someone even made a video that made it look like the U.S. president was saying a bunch of crazy stuff. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Deep fakes are only getting more authentic looking. Can't guys like you tell if the video is fake or not, though? Aren't there any signs? Oh, there are several telltale signs of a video being doctored. So I ran every check I could think of on the murder footage. And wouldn't you know it, nothing came up. Most so likely, it could be a tent authentic. That's really Most rough, likely. boys. Well, no one can claim with absolute certainty that it wasn't altered in some way. Which means it's not substantial enough to prove Ihara's guilt. At least not in a court of law. Gotcha. Do you know when and where the footage was uploaded? It was posted sometime last night, but the source is too hard to pin down. The uploaders spread it across multiple servers overseas in a well-concerted effort to hide their tracks. Makes sense. But I'll bet it ultimately came from Mikoshiba's killers, no matter how real or fake it is. How do you figure? Think about it. No one could have staged that unless they knew the specifics of how Mikoshiba was killed. From how he was positioned to little things like the blood on the ground, every last detail was just at the detective's disposal. That's a good point. Oh, all this browsing's really taken a toll on the old pinky. Why would the killers go through the trouble of spreading the footage? What good, what good would it serve them? Well, I don't know. I don't know what we're up against right now. It's it's that footage is really weird. The thing that the fact that it's public now, causing a public uproar, obstructing the investigation, whatever the case. I still have some interviewing to do. Looks like another visit to Ehara might clear things up. You really, another one? Didn't it. get anything last time. Yeah, that was my thought too. The new info has been added. Yes, all that stuff. It's kind of weird. I'm still not sure what to think about all this. I mean, it could be a deep fake, but I doubt it is, boys. I think it's authentic. Ehara went and felt a lady up on the day Mikoshiba got killed on purpose. If that's the case, why the hell would he upload a murder confession after the fact? Is he trying to get caught? I don't know. I don't. It's kind of weird. I want to ask him that question myself. So, we're off to see Sauri san then? Yeah, I, I I don't know. I guess we're gonna see Sauri and we're gonna go talk uh, with her. We're gonna to go talk to Erara once again. I literally do not know what just happened right there. Like that footage and stuff is very weird, boys. But we're out. We're out of the city. We, we, we didn't waste any time uh, in here, I guess. Now we've got to head back over there. I can probably wait. Hold on. How do I take the taxi again? All right, there we go. Via uh, this, I got a lot of points. Got four thousand, uh, four K points. Do I want to use any of those? Maybe. I'm not sure. What What are the options right here? Still got Master of Deception at five K that I could save up for, which I might do, boys. I might save up for that. Uh, then again, we still got the uh, Crane's Hidden uh, Hearts. Let me let me get those. I want to make sure to get as many uh, things as possible. So uh, now we're going to do Lucky... Let's do Conscious Eater. And uh, Lucky uh, Gourmand Boys. We're going to do that. So that's that, I guess. And I also wanted to look at the taxi. I want to move. 
So is there is a taxi not far away? I guess I guess we can take this one. It's the further uh, is the uh, is the one that's the closest. All right, so we're here, boys. Fast travel system is one of those good things in this game. is It's very quick. And uh, look at uh, our partner. We actually are with Kato for once. And is he gonna help us out with this fight? Because I just got jumped right here. Let's go. All right, there we go. We're gonna kill the or not kill them, but. Uh, get rid of these dudes really quick. Why am I doing flips like crazy right now? I don't know boys But uh, let me uh, deal with them. There we go And let's get him. All right, so this guy's gonna be done for EX action really quick Give me uh, more uh, More points from that. Oh, there's a guy right here. I mean, oh No, you don't Damn, can you not like help me out at all friend? Kaido is really no help at all, man. He's the worst, the worst side character ever. I'm telling you, boys. All right, let's find out. Is this the place right here? What, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, I'm finding other dudes again? Really? How many of them do I have to fight? Okay, EX action, I guess. Let's do a thing. There we go. Oh, wow. He just broke his back. Oh, my God. That looks painful right there. That really did, boys. I did not mean to uh, for it to be uh, that painful for him. All right, well, EX action. Boom, just like that. Got him. Last but not least, this guy right here. And let's grab him and head punch him and stuff. Okay, I don't know how or what was that, but uh, I guess we're just gonna... There we go. I, that's what I wanted to do in the first time around. Just grab him and do a, taiko, uh, a takedown and stuff. How can we enter the building without somebody trying to attack us for a second? Oh, hold the door, please. Huh? Mafia, you're here? It's been too damn long, Mafia John. Yeah. By any chance, Yagami kun, are you working on a case for Salvi? Huh? A video got leaked. It depicted a man committing a murder. <laughs> Mafuyu is a public prosecutor for the Toko, uh, Tokyo office, okay? She's also best friend with Sayori ever since college. Two talented lady hotshots of the law on opposite sides of the courtroom. Apparently they have a bit of a fan club. Are you here about the Ahara case too? Of course. The prosecutor's office is in total chaos right now. Especially the higher ups. I'll bet. After all, they're the ones who pushed for Ahara's battery conviction. If that video is real, that would mean Ahara got them to hand him a slap on the wrist instead of a murder conviction. Yes. And it's not like the prosecution can say, Sorry, Your Honor, we'd like a do-over after the fact. To make matters worse, everything leading up to the trial was broadcast all over the news. Changing our tune now would undermine public trust. That's for sure. So, for the time being, our department is trying to predict how the defense will approach the situation. Hence why they sent me here to check in on my good friend Sauri. Totally no strings attached. <laughs> well, that clears up a lot. There you kids are. Figured you had to show up sometime. Mafia? You're caught up in this too? Yeah, she ran into us downstairs. I'm sure you can work out that I'm here to spy on you. But wouldn't you like to know what we're up to as well? Are you sure that's your only mode of coming here? Sorry? Something like a professional excuse to see Yagami-san? What? <laughs> In your dreams? I had no idea... Why would she want to see me for? The fuck was that? All right. I'll accept that. For now. <laughs> Gotta say, I miss this little banter. What's going on here? Do we have two girls up for me or something? They're fighting over me? What the hell? Needless to say, our office is going through this footage with a fine-tooth comb. That said, they've already determined their stance. They've deemed it an unreliable source and therefore useless as evidence. Basically, they want it to look like it was considered and already thrown out. Huh? So, they're not going to verify the video? Not even question Ahara about Mikoshiba? Nothing? Nope. 
not after it was proven in court that Ahara committed sexual battery on October 7th. I mean, wouldn't you say a conviction has a certain finality to it? Besides, there's no way Ehara could have murdered Mikoshiba within that limited time span. Right. Which means the murder video doesn't really add up, does it? What are you getting at? I'm saying the prosecution believes the video has been falsified. Special effects, CGI, whatever it is, we're not buying it. Huh. Furthermore, the prosecutor pushing that stance was the one who handled Ahara's trial. And that is... His name is Sadao Takano. He was the one gunning the hardest for Ahara the first time around, especially considering his officer status. He kept insisting justice be served, which got the public behind him rather quickly. He certainly looked the part of the people's prosecutor, grilling Ahara in court. So what you're saying is, Takano could never accept anything but Ahara's original sentence. Since this footage of the murder contradicts that finding, he just thinks it's a sham. Yes, and he'd add that a fair trial's result can't be challenged by some video on the internet. Well, who could honestly trust a system that changes its mind so easily? Both the prosecutor's office and the court are beholden to the case as Takano Kun presented it. But that's just sweeping the issue under the rug. It has a domino effect, too. The police are beholden to the verdict we got, so their hands are tied. This applies to both Tokyo and Kanagawa. Really? Why is that? Supposedly, they don't want to get involved with Ehara until they're sure the video is real. They come in with a list of questions about the murder. It'll show that doubt's being cast on the original ruling. Yeah, but no one can prove that the video's real. Right. There's no way to verify the legitimacy of an untraceable video. But if the police aren't allowed to see Ahara, he'll never even become a suspect in the murder. That means he's untouchable. Exactly. None of the detectives are happy about that. Especially down in Kanagawa. Their job is to bring in a suspect, but their leads are all ending up at the same dead end. So video footage of a murder preventing a police investigation, blah, blah, blah. A lot of talking right now, not a lot of action, boys. We gotta stop talking, actually acting. Or like doing some action right here, because Until we're recently, wasting time talking about it right now. A hard justice. Yet somehow his involvement in a murder totally derailed that. Don't be so surprised. No cop would ever want to undermine a ruling based on their own findings. Anyone who wants to go against the grain's gonna need hard evidence on their side. So the case goes cold. All to save face for the court and the prosecution. If Ahara really did commit murder, it'll have been the perfect crime. This debacle only serves as proof. True. It would turn the trial into a farce. There's no way we're letting this go. But wouldn't challenging this mean going up against the entire system? Yeah. That scare ya? Not at all. In fact, I was just thinking, we're the only ones who could take a case like this. Ha! <laughs> That's the good shit, kid. This whole time, we've been writing off Ahara as a convicted sexual predator. But it's looking more and more likely the court played right into his hand. As for me, I'm done being played for a fool. Then you've heard what I came to say. And with that, I will be on my way. But if you need help, just ask. I think we're good for now, but thanks. You're up a lot. No problem. See ya. <sighs> Alright, well done, boys. Ever or what? Think maybe it's time to light that flame again, huh? Shut How the fuck up. I, I got nothing for this not girl, like this woman. I don't even know who she is. First time me for, for me seeing her. All right, so let's leave this place, boys. We got to talk to Sayori, actually. Okay, never mind. Let's talk to Sayori. Uh, we haven't uh, gotten in saw uh, Erara yet. We just literally talked for the entire day about this goddamn videotape. But we didn't go see him. What a waste of time. What are we doing here? Anyway, what I'd like to do is ask Kahara about that video face to face. Any chance we could see him again? 
I was actually about to suggest that. Uh, one moment. It's from Ahara's prison. What? Hello? Yes, this is Shirosaki. Yes, I can talk. His prison? Why would they call us directly? Guess we'll find out. Understood. I appreciate the candor. That was one of the prison wardens. He was asked to convey a message from Ahara. About what? In short, he won't be speaking with his representation any further. You're joking. To be more specific, he said he's not taking any more questions. It seems he fully grasps the situation, even in custody. How... how is that even possible? I'm guessing the murder footage that was uploaded yesterday was also planned out in advance. That or Ahara's conspirators have to be filling him in. How else could he predict we'd try to see him again so soon? I can see either of those scenarios making sense. But only someone on the force can be leaking insider information to him like that. Damn. This shit's turning into a full-blown conspiracy, eh, hey, Doc? Whatever it is, it's screwing up our plans. Yeah, the timing couldn't have been worse. Now what are we supposed to do? Come on. There are plenty of leads that don't involve grilling the culprit. Yeah? I'd like to hear them. Well, if it were me, I'd start with Sauriku. Okay. The first thing I want to learn is whether Ehara is really the murderer in this footage. Given the entire sexual battery incident as an alibi, there is no way he could have murdered Mikoshiba. However, this new footage knocks the bottom out of that premise. Right. Either his alibi or the murder footage. One of the two's been fabricated. The groping or the murder. Right now, which one do we doubt the more? Uh, do we doubt more? I don't know, dude. I, I don't know which one is the worst. Uh, like, which one is the fake one? I, I, it's groping incident was a, a setup. The murder uh, footage was fabricated. What if they're both real? Yeah. Can't they both be real? Like, he could have done literally both of them at the same time. And for some reason, he's just a maniac like the Joker. And he just likes to watch the world burn. I don't know. Well, hold on. What if they're both real? Both his alibi and the video? In that case, let's start with the murder. After committing the murder in Ijincho, Ehara would have had 13 minutes to make it to Ikebukuro Station. Ijincho and Ikebukuro are roughly 30 kilometers apart. It's possible if he traveled 140 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Is it though? Ehara would have had to change out of his bloody clothes. So he probably ought to shave those 13 minutes down. On top of that, he was traveling during rush hour. It just doesn't seem feasible. Okay, then let's rule that out. So he didn't do I'd both at the same some time. Progress okay. Here, guys. <laughs> Boy, you're really reaching for that silver lining, aren't you? Regardless of who actually murdered Mikoshiba, we have a uh, we have two conflicting accounts here. Which one was faked? So the, it's not both of them, I guess. So there's one of them that's fake, I guess. Uh, the groping incident or the murder footage. I, I, I am tempted to say that because there's no evidence otherwise. It's just a uh, it's just a footage. Uh, unlike the groping incident, which everybody clearly saw his face. Uh, you mean to tell me out of like those 20 people, all of them li literally uh, mistook his face for somebody else's? I doubt that, boys. So, no, clearly, I think it's the murder footage that's fabricated. Footage of the murder must have been manipulated somehow. They could have put Ahara's face onto the real killer, or even rendered the whole thing digitally. So you're suggesting we should distrust the murder footage? Huh. Yes, we uh, we should. And how do we prove it's real or fake? Well, I'm sure Tsukumo's cracking away at that. So yeah, let's find some other angles. I'd say there's only one angle left. Regardless of who actually murdered, okay, which one is fake? It wasn't a setup though, so I I, I gotta do all the assumptions, I, think I we guess. should revisit the harassment case. When the sentence came down in court, no one expected it to end up as a murder alibi. Plus, everyone suspected Ahara was working alone. He may have not been. All this makes a huge difference. 
No one would suspect a train groping to involve accomplices or alibis. The search for evidence wouldn't be as intense as for a murder. But the entire incident was caught on camera, top to bottom. There's more than enough physical evidence, too. Then we'll need to verify each and every aspect of the case. Okay, what first? Should we investigate the crime scene again? Maybe we'll discover something new if we check out the station during the crime's actual time frame. No, I think we saw everything we could there. Actually, if we're reviewing evidence, we could do that from right here, couldn't we? What catches your eye specifically? I ask because fabricated evidence would likely show signs of tampering. This would prove that Hara's alibi doesn't hold up. Time to really scrutinize this case. What evidence was Arara reali uh, relying on the falsify on to falsify his alibi? These words, boys. Uh, okay, so uh, trace elements inspection report. Uh, they taken from their hands immediately after his arrest. The trace fibers detect on him match the fibers on the victim's underwear. Okay, so it doesn't matter. What about an overhead view of the Sinju station? Maybe this, maybe the cameras and stuff. I don't know. This part's the still plans. The Shinjuku station diagram? Did something happen at the platform? Well, the majority of the incident was caught on camera. But I don't think we have any footage of what happened around here. It's not much, but it's a blind spot all the same. Hoshino Kun and I confirmed that at the scene. Okay. But how would this blind spot change anything? It could change a lot. The first thing that comes to mind is gives Ahara a chance to swap with the stand-in. The real Ahara murdered Mikoshiba and Ijincho at 7.30, then headed to Shinjuku Station. Then, just after 9 o'clock, he swapped places with the stand-in, getting caught on purpose. So you're suggesting that there were two Aharas at Shinjuku Station? <laughs> yep. And the true assailant, the Ahara look-alike, disappeared into the crowd. Wait, if what you propose is true, does that mean Ahara never touched the victim? Well, not him, yeah. but, but the still got the intentions. I... From the doesn't clothing. change anything, does it? Uh, trace inspection. Yeah, so no matter what, the fact that Ahara touched the victim remains standing. The victim felt his hand reach under her skirt right after the train departed Ikebukuro. She was scared motionless for the entire commute until arriving at Shinjuku Station. Could you describe the victim for me? She's an office worker married to an industrial designer. Also has a six-year-old son. Full name, Yui Mamiya, 30 years old. A wife and mother. Perhaps if we talk to Mamiya-san directly, she could give us more insight than that video. She may even recall something none of us know, upon learning Ahara's alibi might have been fabricated. That's a good plan. We'll finally have a fresh source of info. In that case, give me a moment so I can get a meeting set up. We should have her address and other information somewhere on file. Bear in mind, Mamiya-san was the victim here. As the assailant's defense, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. That's pretty standard for us, I'd say. Nobody rolls out the red carpet for a detective. Right? Yeah. Say, Kaito-san, it looks like we've got some free time, so let's say we grab some food. Now that you mention it, I am getting hungry. Alright then, I guess we're going to a restaurant, because we have time for that. Obviously, dudes, what the hell are we doing here? Feel like uh, we're usually uh, using uh, a lot of time, wasting a lot of time right now. Look at these guys. Like, I have not fought you already. They do look like they mean business. This arcade's idea of an ambush? How basic. Why are they all looking at us like that? You better chill, my guy. Over there, too. Same losers from yesterday. Yes, they want to settle the score. Looks like they rounded up some buddies and waited for us to show. Well, whatever the hell they want, let's not get Genda Sensei and them involved. Follow me. Okay. Where are we going? 
Like, I don't want to fight them. I really don't. If we have to fight them again, I'm going to lose my mind. These guys are all across the corners. They're just waiting for problem, uh, trouble. Alright, so get away from the Genda Law Office. Uh, seems fine enough, I guess. Let's get away. I'm running through the car. Like, I, I don't know what they want from me. Can, they start, can we not work together instead of them just starting attacking me for no reason, boys? I mean, that would be a lot better, wouldn't it? I don't know, boys. Alright, I'm getting fed up with this shit. Why haven't they made a move yet? It's like they're waiting for something. Whatever it is, they've taken their sweet ass time. Hey, quit dicking around and come get some. What the hell? They're just gonna keep stalking us? Nope, thanks for waiting, assholes. Oh, ah! shit. Like, really now? You're RK2? Bastard went straight for our heads. Are you nuts, guy? Shut your mouth! All right, RK member is attacking us. You got be shitting me. Why don't we just work together? And where's that crowd coming uh, from, boys? There was literally nobody in a second ago. All right, I guess they just appeared out of to uh, out of nowhere, boys. All right, come on. I want to do the e EX action. There we go. EX action on your ass. Let's uh, get rid of all these other ones as well. Take down right here. Let's take them out, boys. Doing a bunch of flips for no reason as well. Got him right there. Got him. There we go. Deal with him. Alright, so there's one of them right here. Gonna get uh, the other dudes. Just like that. Alright, so we're gonna do a, a takedown on him. EX action as well. Just like that. And uh, what about this dude right here? Takedown as well. EX action as well. Easy enough. Anybody else who wants to fight me? Come on now. Trying to solve a goddamn case. We don't have time to fight like random people. 4k uh, points though. That's one down. Whatever, man. You can make that sign whatever, however Not many times you want. Yet. Not gonna change a thing. Went all out on the backup. Is the whole town RK now or something? Doc, we should probably get gone before the cops are on there. Why? It's not our fault we're getting jumped. Yeah, we keep getting jumped for no reason. It's like the whole town hates us. Guess their plan was to come at us in waves. I've about had it with this crap. Yeah. At this rate, we won't be meeting Sorry Son and the others. Wouldn't want to drag them into this. Point. So why not get Arcade at home? Yeah? Why not? Soma and Akatsu are at the top and they probably remember me. I'll just ask him real nice to keep their goons off our back. Unless you want to keep dealing with these fucking scrubs. I'm fine with making a house call. Any idea where it is? Yeah. Club in the back of Theater Square. It used to be RK exclusive. Nowadays, I hear they let in thugs from all over. I admit, I'm kind of curious. All right, let's pay them a visit then. Let's pay these guys a visit. Their home turf and stuff like that. We can ask their leaders politely to uh, stop ask, stop attacking us or leaving. I'm not like, nope. I'm not dealing with the enemies. Fuck that. Where's the, uh, where's the, where's the, uh, the thing at, though? Where do they live at? I don't know, boys. Let me see in the map really quick. They're all the way over there, though? Okay. Yo, I wanna, I wanna run. I can't run right now, really? There we go. Run, buddy. Come on. Okay, you know what? Son of a bitch. I can't run, boys. They want me to fight, almost. They're gonna force me, almost, to fight. Look at this festival place. All right, so... They, uh, they left. Alright, good. They left us. We just fled, basically. Oh, there's a bunch of them again. 
I am not fighting any of you goons. Leave me alone, please. Enough's enough. All right, there's more. Uh, there's the uh, there's the base right here. We should find the area right here. All right, there you go. We didn't even have to fight the other goons. Get ready to meet some shady people. Yeah, shady is definitely the operative word here. Can't imagine this place gets a lot of foot traffic. Who knew an entrance to the underground was right here in broad daylight? All right, let's get in there and be done with this. Hey, who the hell are you two? Got some invitations? The Yagami Detective Agency doesn't need any. Say, is Akutsu or Soma around? Detectives, huh? Their problem here? This is a public business, isn't it? About time you showed up. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Nothing like running into an old friend. You want to talk to Akutsu-san, fine. But only Kaito gets in. Why? See, we all knew the Yakuza out in the cold would come around to us once the Tojo clan cleared out. <laughs> know what makes us such a hit? Who gives a shit? We got a system fleshed out. Your average gangbanger starts at rank F. But an ex-Yakuza, a Tojo head at that, fast track right to B rank. Oh, and just for you, Kaito-san. The boss says he'll start you out at A. Yeah, I'm sure you've got your pick of the chumps. But I'm here to talk to a fucking adult man. So get stepping and take me to Akutsu. Spoken like a man with some balls. Let's see why Akutsu's had his eye on you. What? So I really have to just wait in the lobby? You should thank your lucky stars you're not dead yet. I don't know about this, Kaito-san. What if you need backup? Going to a gang turf without backup, that's too dangerous, even for Kylo. I think he'll be good, man. I don't need to worry about him. We have no clue about how many members there are back there. Relax, Doc. All I gotta do is talk man-to-man -man with Akutsu real quick, and we'll be out of here. You heard the man. Now come on. Well, if it's gonna be that quick, I'll just wait right here. <laughs> do whatever you want. Your shit for business. Ah, oh, come on. Don't you want to be friends? It's been 10 minutes since Kaido went in. I have no clue what's going on. There's no sign of him returning. Guess that means... Hey, uh, think I could use your restroom? There's one inside, right? Go shit on the cement for all I care. Restrooms are for guests only. So, you and RK2? I take it business is good lately. Oh, hell yeah. Recruits are swarming in by the dozen. If you're looking for quick cash and combo joke, RK is where it's at. Plenty of hotties, too. <laughs> wow. And all you do is fool around on your phone. Talk about living on Easy Street. Screw you. Hey, not my fault they don't loop you into the good jobs. Bet those only go to the A-rank guys. You must be, what, F? F-minus? The fuck did you just say? Oh, did I offend you? Sorry. Guess some gangbangers are softies. I'll show you who's soft, asshole! That's funny. This guy Sorry. literally knocked I'm himself out. My buddy does make me kind of an asshole. I guess I'm inviting myself. Never should have let Kaido come in here and air alone. Well, whatever, man. We can go in there right now. Oh, we got stealth mode on now? Okay. That's gonna be great. I hate stealth. Why can't I not just punch my way through all of these guys? It's supposed to be uh, talking to the guy. All of these guys are okay. So if I make a scene, who knows what might happen to him? Who the fuck? Okay, we, whatever, man. I guess I have to go stealthy way. Of course. Look at all that liquor. 
I could probably darken the entire place as well. Looks like no one's here. Let's see if there's anything in here. Okay. Anything at all that I could... Yeah, I could probably switch the lights off. There we go. Ah, no go. I don't know to... Uh, I don't know which ones uh, to flip. Really? Are you retarded or something? Man, it's not difficult to uh, to switch off the light. Okay, dude. Well, let's... Uh, what about the liquor? All these drinks are crazy expensive. This place is backed by RK. Or nothing here. Suspicious. There is a safe right here. Wish I would see uh, what's in it. With all the password though. Uh, password though. Uh, there is a ventilation system right what here. I could get in from there. There we go. I can fit in there. Yeah. Locate a foothold. Uh, uh, what's a foothold, boys? I don't know. I, I guess we gotta locate for something. Oh, Suspicious. maybe this. Perfect size. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Okay, so that'll do it. Wait, are we gonna jump on crates? Really? I don't think that's a good idea, but okay then. Uh, look, alright. Yes, I'm, I'm looking, alright. I guess we're going in. We're in the vent system right now. Oh, this is kind of stupid. Okay, alright, here we go. I don't know why we're doing this. I feel like we're gonna fall from the pressure and everything. Where'd that new guy get taken to? Uh, I heard Akutsu-san wanted to see him. For real? Was he taken to the VIP room then? Sounds like it. I see. Looks like Kaido was taken to the VIP. Shh. Even I've never gotten in there. What makes him such a big shot? VIP room seems to be uh, that way. All right, let's check it out. We're going that way, boys. That's gonna be a long ways ahead, though. So we just gotta find him. What happens though if he he actually ends up doing some good stuff, and then we interrupt him and ruin ruin everything? I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Why are we looking at the bartender right now? Let's just keep moving. What the hell? He's just from here, but he kind of looks like me. Oh, you want me to? Okay, I got you. I just had an idea. Of course, he wants. Uh, he wants me to disguise as him. This game wants me to disguise as him and actually, I guess, take his place and stuff like that. Interesting. I like that quite a lot. The karate chop, boys. Never Sorry, works man. in real life, but always works breather. everywhere else in the minias. Not bad. I might actually pull this off. Okay. So now we got the costume on. So what do we do now? We're just serving, uh, uh, serving stuff now. I gotta get to the uh, VIP room though. So it doesn't matter whether I have a costume or not. I could have went sneaky uh, route right here. Great, even more of them hanging around. If I get surrounded here, it's all over. I'd be extra careful if I have to deal with hey, any of them. You there. Uh, yes? Can I help you? You better stop fucking around. Didn't I ask you for another round? Huh? Another round? You forgot my order already? I want my bottle. Y yeah. yeah, I'll get right on that. Wait a minute. You know what? Fuck the bottle. How about you just mix me a cocktail? But of course. I guess I don't have any choice. Uh, hang out. Maybe there is, this is just what I needed. If I put him under the table with some strong booze, I can clear out, uh, clear out of here. It's worth a shot. Uh, all right. So I don't know anything about alcohol, boys. So we'll see how uh, we're gonna do this. I guess serve drinks. Hopefully, uh, my guy knows a thing or two about drinks. I don't know, boys. We'll see. Here, sir.
Just like that? The fuck did you put in that drink? That was literally one glass. Did he put like a sleep thing or something? I don't know, man. That must have been real strong. I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. So VIP room. Unless I do something about him, I sure I should lure him into the shadows on the other side. Take him out of here. Okay, so I gotta lure this guy in. Okay. I cannot deal with these goons though. So how do I lure him in? Uh, lure him in. I don't have anything right now, so it's not like I can really... Okay, well, I guess I can move through here. So they want me to do that. So throw the coin right there, so it gets distracted. There it goes, so this guy's distracting and everything. And there we go, so we're moving, boys. Wait, oh, whoa, 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 okay, so I guess I gotta move through here. They're literally telling me where to go right now. Unbelievable. They're really, uh, telling me exactly what to do. That's good for me, I guess. I right, keep moving, my guy. There we go. Keep moving. I'm moving past you just like that. It's so easy. So easy. Now, last but not least, this guy right here. Throw the coin. Let me get the smoke uh, screen powder. Now, I swear, if he sees me again, I am going to rage quit so hard, boys. You won't see it coming. He better not see me. Take him, take his ass down right now. There we go. This asshole got me like five or six times. I'm tired of this shit. There we go. I should probably kill him instead. I should have literally killed him by now. All right, so we're finally up there. I swear if we mess things up while Kaido was doing his thing, I'm going to lose my mind. I hate to say it, Ar I'm in a price bracket you couldn't afford if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm not saying you'd need to call it quits on the detective gig you've got going, Kaito-san. You can just give us a hand, help us out a bit when RK needs some real muscle on the field. That a fucking joke? On what planet would I sign up for more busy work? Think you might want to tone it down there, big guy? I've got my boys in the room. Being talked to like this isn't a good look. Why would you care how you look? You're a bunch of damn Yakuza. You and Soma are picking up the Tojo clan scraps, yeah? Or do you have a real plan? We'd have the manpower if we wanted to. With all your washed up Yakuza and punk ass kids? I don't see it happening, man. What are you fucking thinking? Exactly why we need more guys like you. Help me show this crew how the big boys roll. I need some authority on this to get it built the right way. So you want me on as a drill sergeant for scumbags? Count me out. Kamurocho's underground river of cash is still flowing, but there's no more Tojo clan upstream to collect it all. There's no more rules. We can run this town however the fuck we want. And once we've got ours, we can slip back into civilian lives to live it up clean as a whistle. You want to be a civilian again? You're kidding. Oh, yeah. Wanna have the cash to buy your favorite store? Pop out a couple of kids and settle down with a family? Never would have been possible in the Yakuza life. Well, why the fuck would you need me to do that? After you step into the shadow of the underworld, you never really escape from those chains. Don't sell me your bullshit like I'm one of your fucking brats. Huh. Sounds to me like your whole damn pitch just ran out of gas. Go out there and build your dream gang if you want. I don't give a shit. That said, if you keep bugging me about this shit, I'm gonna make sure you regret it. Keep your fucking distance from us. Did you say us? Are you refusing to join up because you have a partner? Bring Yagami along for all I care. Did you hear a word of what I just said? I'd reconsider that stance if I were you. If you aren't coming along as a friend, then you're my enemy. I don't take work from assholes. Have it your way, then. Hey, round up the boys. Sir. Hey, get off your asses! Uh Too late for that. I knew exactly how this little chat was gonna go down. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, well, I knew exactly where you'd be for a chat you weren't invited to. 
Well, if you're done over there, shall we get back down to business? You're not walking out of here. Uh, if you don't know how to use that thing, you're gonna cut yourself, man. You sure? You fuckers are the ones who don't know shit. This whole damn town belongs to the arcade now, you know. Now the whole town belongs to you, huh? You fucking morons. You're gonna have to pry this town out of my hands! Well, let's kick the uh, kick these assholes ass, uh, boys. I'm pissed off for being uh, for being uh, uh, caught for like six or seven times in a row right there. So I'll definitely take my revenge on you. Let's do it. Let's go. Taking my revenge on you. Oh, you want to dodge? All right. Let me do that really quick and do uh, all of these attacks and stuff. All right. So these guys are off. It's just this guy right here. Oh shit! No, I'm grabbing you. There I go. You, you're not, sh you're not shit, buddy. What do you think you're you're gonna do against us? Let me do ex action. Oh, we can't do ex action. Okay. No, you don't. Ex action right there. Finally, there we go. We got him, boys. Easy enough. Break your back and break your goddamn uh, intestines as well. All right. You want to fight too, buddy? Hey, quit dragging your ass. Right. Sorry, boss. No. Fuck him up, boys. More? All right. That's just great. That's just more punching bag for me right there, I guess. Let me just deal with all of you right now in a second. All right. You want to uh, keep doing that? You want to keep attacking us? Come on, my guy. I'm, I know you don't want to uh, keep attacking us like that. Come on. Uh, give it up already. You're, you're, you cannot win. You can't win. And especially since I have a weapon in my head. I have a goddamn thing. Let me punch you with that. Boom. You're done for. Dumbass, you down already? No, sir. Come on, let's fucking do this. <laughs> How many of them can they are gonna are, are gonna go show up? Oh, this guy's turning super saiyan on my ass right now. Okay. Okay. Well. All right. Let's see right here. Oh God, I fell down the stairs big time right there. Yo, Yagami, get up. The hell are you weakling or something? All right, let's go, boys. All right, we uh, got him. DDT on his ass. And there we go. Boom, just like that. We're gonna take them down uh, in a second. They're actually a lot stronger than the other ones, that's for sure. There we go. And we're gonna do a takedown. Oh, we can't do the TPA takedown. Sometimes it doesn't let me do it for some reason, boys. I don't know why. Uh, let me just deal with them really quick. There we go. Get him. And he's done for all right so there's one more done we're gonna have to deal with this guy really quick though all right good uh let me uh, do the ex takedown oh actually you know what oh shit no you don't no you don't all right grab this grab whatever you've got man i don't have any weapons around though so i can't uh, get him or anything let's get him okay no what the fuck man this goddamn guy keeps attacking me with his knife. Leave me alone. Attack Kaido for all I care. I'm focused on the other dude right now. Okay, let's let's just kill the, uh, this guy, man. Super annoying. I can't get rid of him. EX action, please. Boom. Finally, we, uh, we dealt with him. All right. Now it's your time, buddy. Now we can focus on you. Come on. Uh, we can beat, the, uh, beat this ass already. Boom. No. Ah. Fuck, he got me at the last second. You gotta be shitting me. Kaido, you're just sitting there like an asshole. Well, it looks like we gotta redo the entire thing, boys. Well, you know what? We'll do that in the next video. I do not have the patience for this shit right now. Fuck these guys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.